Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. Did you reconsider the request for asylum for the historians that I spoke to you about? I believe I already told you that the affair would be taken care of as soon as you had taken care of mine. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Citizens, I present to you... Panacea! The absolute cure of everything! Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little phial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the malachor. Alas, not yet. But. Your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins. And well worth it to make your life shiny and new again! Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything! Absolutely everything! Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right! It's a deal! I'm gonna take two! There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now! There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Search his things. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us, to prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial, so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... 
You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday, you'll see. If you're all absolutely of a mind to go up against the guard, it's your right. I'm leaving. The guard? Why would the guard take sides in this? Because this is their tavern, and they don't take kindly to anyone messing with their business. If they're so keen to keep their business running, then hand over the charlatan. Now be off with you. We've already got one coward to deal with. An angry mob is like a raging wild beast. So? Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. My cart, finally! I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson any time soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lord. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the coin guard tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> We'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. Now that your affair is taken care of, are you planning on helping the historians I spoke to you about? We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the Port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart.